and we are live. The Port Sessions well, here with Sean Ortega, aka Chili Doggy. Outside the Tasty Freeze. What's up, all my homies? Love y'all. Love, love life. Okay, so what's up with this love thing, man? I don't know. You tell me, man. It's taking over, it seems like. Um, you know, there's a lot of love going around. I think people are starting to understand, you know, that, uh, you know, it's just being being mad and being, you know, having that evil bring you down all the time is just not the way to live. People just want to just live and love. And, you know, I think those two words are associated with each other. So. Okay, so the, the, you're talking about bad energy, good energy? Talk to me about that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think everybody, you know, the stories are correct when they say, you know, each, each person has, you know, a, a good and the evil side. And I think, you know, when thinking about what's going on, everyone should you know strive in life to you know have more good than evil i think it's just as simple as that and at the end of the day you know i think some people call it judgment day or whatever um at the end of the day you know it'll be decided whether you know you chose good or evil but this whole life thing might just be a struggle between that a good a, a good and a bad and whether that's spirits energies or whatever it may be i think is you know yet to be you know decided but i have in my opinion you know it's th there's spirits going on around here and there's negative ones that i think you know in, in the in the battle there might be they might be winning but in the war i mean there's no way that we can lose good energy will always supersede negative energy you just have to believe in it and you know i think that's kind of what's going on people are starting to take take action in their hands and believe that, you know, love can change their lives. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So let me ask something, because they're going <laughs> to ask me this. Are right. you a modern-day hippie? Yeah, I might as well be, right? I mean, what's a hippie, you know, someone who, you know, a tree hugger, you know, just goes with the flow? I mean, sure, I mean, I love trees, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, I just got a garden going, you know, I'm growing my own vegetables, all organic, it's going to be bomb, super excited doing that with my parents, you know, getting them out of the house, you know, and just, uh, you know, becoming a family all over again with, you know, my parents, I think it's going to be important for them, their grandparents now, just had a baby, little baby girl Ava, what's up Ava, and Leslie, I love you girl, um, you know, I think, I think people are waking up, Stan. Waking I mean, up to what? The, the secret societies and the shit like that? <laughs> the Illuminati? The, the Hopefully, I mean... Payday Monsanto? <laughs> Monsanto, yeah, that, that's one of the evilest corporations that is out there. You know, a lot of um, genetically modified foods being created over there. I think they're trying to patent the pig. You know, they're trying to synthetically make pigs or something like that. Oh, man. It, it, the more you get... <laughs> The, the more you wow. get into this type of stuff, the more you kind of just get freaked out. And I think, you know, when, I, when I'm online, man, and I'm throwing links at people, they just get overwhelmed. You know, I, I, I guess I have a, a really good memory of different sorts of things at certain times. And, you know, I'm just like, you know, they crossbreed and goats and spiders make, you know, <laughs> bulletproof vests and stuff. You know, it just blows people's mind away. It's like, what are you talking about? How do you know that, you know? And, uh, uh, I, I'm animated, you know, I'm like, you need to learn this, you need to do it, because there's a certain urgency, I think, going on right now, and we're in 2012, and, you know, all the Mayan, all the prophecies or whatever, end of the world, but it's more of the end of the world as we know it, and I'm leaning towards that, that love that you were talking about earlier is starting to manifest itself in a bigger, stronger energy, and it's starting to let, you know, the, the negative vibrations kind of know what's going on, what's happening, like, we're waking up, it's time and um, no one can stop you know no one can stop it nothing can stop it it's just not gonna happen so what do you gain by sharing this you know I'm gonna ask some people are gonna say hey man you went from you having music and rappers and this and that to having this dude on there man. you know maybe I gained something little but I think over a long period of time it, it could like I said manifest into something different maybe one viewer looks up some, something that I'm talking about and intrigues them to get into the sort of the same topics that I'm into 
and then they read an author and it blows their mind and then they look at the sources and they look at that and all of a sudden they become an expert and then they broaden it and what then, if i see it and i don't agree with you well that's awesome i'm glad that you think you know <laughs> i don't think a lot of people out there are even doing that stan they're not they don't have opinions their opinions are created for them and, uh, you know, the it's fact that... It's what's cool, though, man. I mean, shit, but if that's what's cool, how come I can't have my own uh, opinion for me by, by somebody else? Well, you're, you're dehumanizing yourself. You know, you talk about, you know, racism and looking at another race, uh, a, a lower class. Like, you're, you're doing that, you're looking at your... If you did that, you know, in my opinion, and just let someone form your own opinion for you, you're degrading yourself to the lowest anything that you want to think of just mud sill class you know you, you you're nothing you know and it's disgusting to even think about it. it like gets me all you know emotional because each person born is sacred you were talking about connecting with a soul body and soul or well yeah i mean i think each soul and each person has a soul and it's you try to con you're striving in life is just to try to connect those two things and become one and just learn from each other you know you, your body is your parents you know genetics and all that but your soul is very 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 old and i like to use this a lot when you do research just look at that word re search re to do again search to seek doing you're seeking again what are you seeking again what is again where does that you know how does that form like what does that mean so i think that each soul you know kind of jumps around until it finds a certain enlightenment and then it gets a chance to leave and then it gets i i don't know i don't know it's all i mean but you know that sounds good to me <laughs> well, i'm just i'm just asking i i don't know so back to the secret societies do you think they have a global agenda with the monsanto and everything else absolutely i don't know if monsanto's as big on it as um people like to think they're 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 doing their own thing and i, th I guess they're allowed to you know so so they have to be into it but mainly it's it's about these banking families and these banking cartels that are um putting people you know, they're already, we're already in the palm in their hand, and what's happening is they're just squeezing and squeezing and squeezing. They're not killing us, though, but they're squeezing and squeezing and squeezing. And, you know, I'm talking economically, obviously, and, and the prices of everything are going up. People don't really question those types of things. It like, costs a baby for three gallons of gas right now. <laughs> I mean, I know. I mean, I went to go f fill up, and it was four four seventy one. Damn. Yeah. Oh yeah, you get that good shit though. My yeah, bad. I have That's to your get that fault. Good shit. I know. Well, it's not my. I mean. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> but you it, care you about know, your car. I take care good. of it. Yeah, I try to at least. Um, you know, but the fact of the matter is, no one's questioning why those prices are going up. And I think I, I've been privy to to certain you know ideas that well, it's it's the Federal Reserve, and what is the Federal Reserve, and who owns it? Wait, someone owns our bank? Yes. There's 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 international banking families that own the federal reserve they have stock shareholders whatever they're going to deny it down the you know forever but that's just the way it, creature from jekyll island um g edward griffin wrote a book it's awesome i think if you buy it, he sends you a thing of silver which used to be legal tender back in the day and if you had some legal tender back in the day and you kept it it probably would have increased over a thousand percent i'm guessing but anyways um no, no one questions why prices are going up and it's because of inflation and that's due to the federal reserve's involvement and, and um what happens is they loan the u.s money and then charge us interest so we're taxed for having money meaning money equals debt if they didn't if they didn't print it we wouldn't have that that's tax. the dope game though go go ex elaborate on that i don't know that's the dope game you ain't got no dope, right? Yeah, you front me? I'm gonna front you. I'm gonna yeah. tax you though, right? Absolutely. Okay. And exactly. So this types of whole mentality and this thinking has just been the trickle down, <laughs> the, the real trickle down effect, <laughs> trickle down to, you know, people that are just trying to make a buck. And there was a quote, I think, from a Rockefeller. He's like, why would I want to earn 100% of my, you know, my profit from my labor when I can 
when I can earn 1% of 100 people. Okay. And this is that mentality. Like, why do I have to work so hard when that person's just going to work just as hard? But if I can get 100, then I'm getting that my 100%. And so what's happening is that the whole world's stuck in this monetary uh, well, suction hole of, of death, <laughs> if you want, because it creates greed. And you're saying the way to get out of that is love, right? Absolutely. You know, love. you gotta you got to open up your mind... But you have to find out who you are, and you have to do soul searching. You have to, you have to get in there and fight those demons in there, and let them know that you know they gotta go because everybody. Are the demons aliens? I mean, no. 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 But you what, believe in aliens, right? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. There, it's it's naive to think that we're the only you know creatures in the universe. That's just that's ridiculous. You don't really think that? I mean, come on, man. We're the smartest people in the world. We're Americans, dog. We're the smartest people in the galaxy. Stop playing. Well, how far are humans to dolphins? You know, how far they, is that? They can't, they can't get to space. They can't, but how far? I mean, are we that much superior than we think? We don't know. We'll never know. But the fact is that the aliens, there are. There are aliens. All the, all the stories all around the world are, you know, been collaborated, all similar, you know, with, with, with difference. You know, the abductees, contactees, what's the difference? You know, one gets abducted. You know, I um, hope they can understand the difference between abducting and contacting. Yeah. Because if I just contact you, you know what I mean, though. I mean, yeah, it's no, just, I know. I mean, I'm just hoping that some people do. There's get, people that go up all the time, you know, and they're just gone, and they tell their stories of what they see and different, and it, it's so precise and so detailed. It's hard for me to not, you know, kind of think that there's a little bit of truth in there, and if there's just a little bit of truth in there, holy shit. Yep. You know what I mean? And people just have to do their own research. And, you know, my opinion on that is kind of, you know, irrelevant to my main message of just love, knowledge. And then once you get to a certain point, you kind of get to the aliens, you know, and, and ancient so texts and stuff like that. I'm going to yeah. cut your ass off because, you know, we got about two minutes left. What's right. up with uh, weather changes and the, the aluminum and the barium that you was talking yeah, about? Yeah, chemtrails. Um, you know, do a YouTube search of chemtrails and barium, and you should find um, a news excerpt. They did a little piece on it, and uh, this guy put uh, a bowl of water out in his front yard after a heavy day of chemtrails, and they tested the water, and there was a bunch of barium, which is metals. And um, the chemtrails, I think, is associated with this corporation, probably many others, who knows. But um, Monsanto, who I think is trying to basically, you know, genetically engineer the entire planet, um, fruits, vegetables, and all these things. So they're synthetically making certain fruits that are susceptible to, uh, you know, high high amounts of, of they, take they take over shit. They take over shit and, and everything and, and make it where they're the only the seed that can do anything. Yeah, ask Middle America. Middle America, a lot of corn farmers. Oklahoma, you know, Iowa, Nebraska. I mean, these synthetic seeds are being planted, infect all the you know organic um, seeds, and then all of a sudden they have patent over that synthetic so they they make you grow their 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 product or they sue you when you don't want to change and it's just terrible okay so you got a minute to fuck with ron paul let's get it rpz i mean he's just been consistent 30 years he's a politician been um in and out of congress for i think he's a 12-time congressman um he's anti-war which is big you know uh, not a lot of candidates will see go up there and say yeah well, i promote peace i want to bring all my you know, troops home when Obama's up there and Bush is up there and it's like, I promote democracy and peace, here's a bomb on your ass. I mean, he's the only politician for the last 30 years has been consistently say we need a different foreign policy, this one's not working, all these soldiers are coming back wounded, um, you know, screwed up in the head. You know or even my worse. view is, right wing, left wing, cut the fucking head off. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, suicides, there's a mass, you know, yeah, we just need to cut the head off, but that that's a mass revolution. Are we ready for that? I don't think so. I think we're at the beginning stages, and somewhere down the line, 15, 20 years, I think we'll be... I hope we don't be... got to take that long. No, but I mean, I think we're at the beginning of what's happening right now. Okay, well, eight seconds. You, you got anything you want to say before we leave? I love, I love you. Yeah, listening, that's great, baby. listening. I love you. I love you. Peace. Fourth sessions, peace.